Makassar is an economic, social, and employment hub in the Maminasata region of South Sulawesi, Indonesia, and a key trading port along the Makassar Strait. Over the next 20 years, Makassar City will grow to a total of 2 million people. With this increasing population and rapid urbanization come certain challenges. Similar to other developing Asian cities, Makassar faces issues such as livability, climate change and natural hazards, gender equality and social inclusion, as well as attracting private investment. The city government has embarked on an ambitious smart city program to address these challenges with the support of the ASEAN Australia Smart Cities Trust Fund, which is funded by the Government of Australia, managed by the Asian Development Bank, and implemented by global consulting firm Ramble. ASEAN Australia Smart City Trust Fund tentunya uh, sangat diharapkan untuk bisa uh, membantu Kota Makassar karena Makassar sendiri dalam perkembangan teknologi terbarukan soal Smart City membutuhkan banyak uh, supporting dari uh, uh, banyak pihak dan kami uh, menganut kebijakan open door dan saya kira hadirnya ASEAN Australia Smart City Trust Fund memberikan kita peluang-peluang untuk bisa mendapat bantuan sekaligus bekerja sama berkolaborasi uh, di dalam membangun smart sumber dan smart city kota Makassar yang perannya bukan hanya Makassar saja tetapi Indonesia Timur. The Makassar Livable City Plan project has three main stages. An urban situation assessment which identified challenges and needs in Makassar. An urban development scenario which reviewed plans and projections for city development. And a Makassar Livable City Plan which identified how to make Makassar smarter and more livable using digital solutions in planning, financial management, and service delivery. The Makassar Livable City Plan integrates the findings from the slum assessment of the ADB Livable Settlements Investment Project, which seeks to strengthen infrastructure to support economic development and basic services. As part of the planning process, people took part in an online smart city survey and street interviews reflecting safety protocols. Sebenarnya ini survei itu baru kali ini ada survei begini jadi saya anggap baguslah. The survey examined the needs and perceptions of different demographic groups. Tantangan Makassar ter- tentang bagaimana membangun smart city adalah uh, bagaimana uh, melibatkan semua masyarakat yang ada untuk memanfaatkan sistem dan terlibat dalam sistem smart city yang dibangun oleh Makassar. Nah, Somi dan smart city tujuannya adalah bagaimana membuat masyarakat menjadi uh, masyarakat cerdas dan masyarakat yang ramah. To support the city's vision, the Makassar Livable City Plan includes smart tools that can lead to catalytic interventions. Reports are interactive and publicly available online, alongside digital tools developed, such as smart stakeholder engagement tools, a digital dashboard for prioritizing smart city investments. A web-based GIS platform called URScape, developed by the Future Cities Laboratory in Singapore. And 3D modeling, analysis and visualization of climate risks in urban areas, using the Indra platform, developed by Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization. Pemerintah Australia mendukung kota-kota di Asia Tenggara untuk menjadi lebih hijau, kompetitif, inklusif, dan tangguh melalui ASEAN Australia Smart Cities Trust Fund atau AASCTF. Dukungan yang diberikan melalui AASCTF membantu menjadikan Makassar dan kota-kota ASEAN lainnya lebih nyaman bagi masyarakat mereka sendiri dan lebih menarik bagi investor asing sehingga dapat berkontribusi pada pertumbuhan ekonomi yang berkelanjutan.